How's everybody going? I am Shadosha the Fly Guy alongside Tasty Steven. Welcome to the Play Breakaway booth here at TwitchCon 2016. I'm excited to be here. There has been so much action in these past two days. I got to talk about Thursday real fast, the exhibition. Tell me about that exhibition. Well, first off, it was a crazy exhibition. It was crazy. I mean, we had a bunch of FGC competitive players going <laughs> head to head. You know, red team versus blue team. Red versus blue. Fighting it out. Yes. It was a good time all around. I mean, we did take the L. Yeah. Once again, I do blame my co-commentator for that. But here we are, <laughs> TwitchCon 2016. We want you guys to play the game. We want you to enjoy the game. You just going to put that on me like that? That's messed up. That's You know what? We're going to transition. I want to get ready for some matches on stage. Before we tell you about the matches, keep in mind, these guys got up here because they played their hearts out. Actually, yesterday, yes. when we, they were at the booth. And they got to qualify to come this morning just before, you know, we, we open up, get ready, get fresh. They're going to put on a show for you guys. You guys are going to be excited for this. So we're going to introduce our blue team first. Take it away, Steve. So we're going to give you guys the blue team first. We're going to start off with Ray from Los Angeles running and Bonnie. And Bonnie. I personally, that's one of my favorites, you know, and Bonnie. It's gonna, I'm going to love to see what's going to happen here. And then we got to let me, let me, let me make right, sure ahead, I say this correctly. Little Boo Dirty. Little Boo Dirty. From Los <laughs> Angeles <laughs> with Mr. Rawlins. The Wow Wow Gunslinger himself. Then we have OFWGKTA underscore Joel from Las Vegas. Got to hit that Running underscore. Thorgrim. Of course, you can't leave that out. And then we have Clearsight also rocking from Las Vegas. And he's going to run Spartacus. And, of course, giving them the, the directions from the ones and tunes, we have Berserker Mike as if that coach. Look at him. So yeah. proud of himself. So full of himself, especially to be so early. So who do we have? On the red team. All right. So for the red team, we have, hopefully I say this right, Curb Tika from Las Vegas representing that Rollins. All right. Up next is going to be Pro Q from Miami, Florida. That's oh, wow. Far, that's a far trip. Yeah, that's a representing trip. that Black Knight. You know what? I'm red team Black Knight. I got to clap for that one. I'm, <laughs> I'm rooting for that one right there. After that, we have Lil Fabs coming out of L.A. Right, representing with Spartacus. And then for player four, we have oh our only healer in the game. It's going to be Scraps from L.A. holding it down. I want to see what that Alona can do. I'm excited for this one. And our red coach is going to be G.L. Tovar. So if you guys are aware, it's, there's been a lot of a great character introduction here, a nice variety. And this game is all about team composition. I'm, oh, yeah. I, I'm liking the fact that a lot of the teams now are starting to make sure they get their proper support right. with Alona right. on the backup now. And I feel like that's one of the smartest things you can do, especially considering Everybody, when you initially pick up the game, you want to get acquainted with the game well enough. The first thing you do, right. you go and you pick the brawler. You pick the guy yes. that you say, hey, I'm going to beat people up. Right. But the minute you, you ascend that mind, that, that thought, right. you want that support. You want that backup. Absolutely. And I feel like that's what's going to make and break these games. Now, with that said, I'm very curious, though, as to how the blue team is going to approach this matchup. Because they opted not to have a healer. There's no Alona there. True. True. Instead, they have two shooters. We have Rollins and we have Ann Bonnie. And then, we, of course, we have Spartacus and Thorgrim for the tank. Now, we've seen Thorgrim, you know, with the armor. Although a tank has a lot of rushdown capabilities, right. we've seen them dash and get the scores, you know, be, be annoying and a nuisance, pick on people a lot. Anything can happen here. So I'm excited to see what goes on as we load up our next, our first game of the day. It's going to okay. be on El Dorado, and I'm excited. So, Steve, real fast, tell these people how they can score at home. Three ways to win this game. Score points. It's first to three. Right. So one way is to get the relic in the relay. You get that done by moving that relic across the field, right. you get a point. Yep. Also, if you get a team wipe, if you're lucky enough <laughs> to eliminate the entire team We've seen a lot from of those existence, yesterday, yep. the disintegration, you also get a point. And let's just say it gets down to the nitty gritty. Yep. That relic is going to be on one side of the stage, and whoever has it further in the enemy territory, they also get a point. And that's how you close out games. And like we said before, it is the first to three. Yep. And let's get started. So. And both teams have the option to start off buying items. Let's see what they opt to buy right now. All right, we didn't see any buys on the blue side, but we did see a lot of da uh, damage buys. Nice. Black Knight going for the, the armor buy, and he's going to rush right in with that. I oh, love it. Oh, wow, really smart. That's what we were talking about. If you can get in there initially and start pushing that relic really smart, opting to just throw it, and look at the Black Knight on the red team. Oh, man. Just having fun. But he's got to put that. Oh, I see what he's trying to do, but unfortunately, oh, you cannot build build the bull. Right next to the relay. It does not work that way. No, Sorry it definitely about that. doesn't. And, and that's one of the things. See, people see this big, bulky character, and they're like, <laughs> oh, I'm not worried about him. He's not going to hit me. And he's like, well, I, can, I still have legs. Yeah. I can just move the relic into the other play zone and still get those points. Absolutely. It's not about just about kills here. So, you know, one relay, one push, that's a big deal. So 
Hopefully we can see some composition come out of the blue team. That's going to be a lot of gold netted for the red team. Exactly. Because they got that initial score, and they got a couple of hits and you know, assists there, here and there. So we are going to see Rollins on the red team. He's going to buy dam damage buildables. I mean, exactly. uh, uh, buildable damage, excuse me. And uh, let's see how they push for the second round. Nice buildables here coming from the red side. Nice push right here in the middle to make sure we got a nice, clear obstacle course going on. Wow, very aggressive. Right in the middle field, too. That's going to give him a lot of momentum to just press on and move forward. And there's that Black Knight opting to toss up the Relic just to do damage and all activates that ult to pull in all the enemies. He's going to do a lot of damage Oh, right my now. goodness. Spartacus is cleared out. Thorgrim, low on health, pushing back. Black Knight just... Rushing, just being a nuisance. Once again, we're going to see the Black Knight score. Nice Maybe push not. right there. Blue Team Rollins, make sure that Black Knight doesn't just cruise into that relay again. Yeah. And there's a fight going on inside Blue Team's base right now. Uh-oh, oh, Black Knight picks it up. He gets clipped. And that's going to be the end. He goes down. Gotta and be it's going to be 4v3 right now. They got about six seconds to that Black Knight is back. And there's a battle going on right now inside the Blue Team's base. Two players drop right there. Alone is alone in the blue field. But it looks like Spartacus is there to back him up. Both players low in health, and they're getting mauled in the backfield. Oh, wow, there's so much but going he still gets on. It in. And what a scramble that's going on in the Blue Team's base right now. I, I see this, and I'm like, man, anything can happen Absolutely. at this point. Because that's when team wipes are definitely possible. But it's all it takes is one quick, smooth, sly move. Absolutely. To get that red look in, and you got another point on the board. And you know, you have to be, you have to pay attention to that situation. I do understand the blue team's eagerness to get those kills there. I mean, they were very low in health, but just one slight breakaway, and there you go. That's exactly what happened. Alona got away and made the score. So as we're seeing now, there's a lot of buys happening on the blue side. They're like, exactly. you know what? We need to get ourselves in this game. Wow. But. There's a lot to worry about as we do have that Black Knight with gold armor. And let's not forget, we do see sometimes... Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, the push. Oh, lots of aggression here. What a here. push. Oh, but oh, he breaks it. Great stuff. And that's what happens. If someone shoots your buildable as soon as you build it or hits you, it's instantly going to dissipate whatever buildable you were trying to make. Great eyes from Thorgrim avoiding that uh, jail there. You saw that? He jumps over. Makes the move. Oh, we have a we have a fight here so in the midfield. Much. This is so hectic right now. And of course, those ramps gives you a little boost, like you're driving a car. Yes. It's a nice little boost shoots you across the stage, and sometimes can't be used for good or evil. Because sometimes they'll set those ramps up to go right off the stage. But really smart here to set it up in the middle, just to push that relic a little further. And if you see right now, you see that blue team's Rollins trying to. Oh my goodness! Did you see those, that? Just destroyed them, and that's what I was talking about before. We have a team wipe. Look at him into nothingness. Now, I have to say. At some point, I was expecting this to happen because the confidence and the hungriness of Red Team, it, that was their weak spot. And although it didn't let them two score so far, they didn't know exactly when to retreat, and they almost lost the game in the second round. Exactly. They got clipped, they got destroyed, and that is what a team wipe looks like. Hopefully, they can kind of dial it back a bit here and play a little bit more defense and know when to retreat. And if you notice, that blue team Storgrim actually got death reduction. So yes. He's... he's thinking of the long-term game right now and look at these buildables right now this oh my is, goodness it's kind of like ninja warrior going on right here there's a Anne, lot happening did you see Ann bonnie from the blue team get dropped that was just a habit of an overextension you got to be careful make sure you're moving with your team that way you can cover and on top of that you have to be careful because in these arenas you can fall off the side oh yeah and some characters have the option of forcing you off the side as oh, well. oh yes oh yes oh yes Meanwhile, we do have a Thorgrim and a Black Knight. Uh oh, deep, and there's that ult. Wow, and it doesn't mean anything. Blue Team's Rollins uses his ult, that barrage. Yes. Knocking out that Black Knight, and he has about three seconds until he comes back. Beautiful stuff. They managed to clear the relic back into the midfield, but they still have an obstacle wow. course sitting right there. I've never seen so many buildables dead center Look like this. The, I know, right? I don't know who's <laughs> is who's. It's insane. And if you notice right now, that Black Knight doing a lot of work with oh, that yes. spike trap. And here he is again with the relic, Breaks moving away. it deep into the blue territory. Thorgrim comes immediately nice. for the push. Does oh, manage wow. to get the relic out. And then we do see, Thor uh, excuse me, Spartacus getting cleaned up from the red team. A nice barrage there by that Rawlings. And definitely <laughs> just off, just takes out that blue team. Oh, Thorgrim, jail. and you're in jail. No pass, go, no collect, $200. Great pass, and you know what? This is going to actually hurt Rawlings here. He does get cleared out there, but he gets tossed. And it, oh, Black wow. Knight. And in the volley, that's what happens. You really wow. have to be careful. And we have a clear victor with that one. And we saw the evolution of those matches go back and forth each time, which... You really can't expect anything less, especially when it comes to damage and getting those points. I have to give props to Pro Q there. That was excellent work from the Black Knight. I don't know if he saw me play, but he, def he definitely represented that Red Team Black Knight very well. So shout out to him. And you guys at home, if you're checking out the action yourself, I have to say, please check out Stream Plus. You have the opportunity to vote. You know, check out the polls. There's betting there available. So please, if you're in the stream, feel free to interact with us. Let us know who you feel is your MVP. And let's take a look at these stats right here. So if you notice, 
And Bonnie for the blue team had three kills, three doing kills. her job quite well, actually. Absolutely. Because that's what she does. She's a ranged sniper who makes sure to take off as much damage as possible. She's part of the cleanup crew. And if you notice, the, the red team's Black Knight actually did a lot of work where he was moving that relic. And you think he's just going to sit there. Oh, and no. It's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm not sitting there. And if you could take a look, you could see those bets right here on wow. the screen plus option. Exactly. Wow, hold on. Somebody <laughs> howl round three and team wipe. Somebody actually bet right there. That's wow. pretty good. And, I like that. That was pretty good. All right, awesome. And, and that's the beauty of a program like like Stream Plus. It gives you those options to get extra involved in what you're watching as well as place those bets. Let, let us know what you guys think. But that being said, we're going to throw it to an interview yes. with the coach of the winning team. I, are we not ready? No interview? Okay, so I've been told there is no interview. There's no interview. Oh, yeah, around. they all got ready to go. Okay, awesome. Thank but you. regardless, make sure you guys are where we do have that Stream Plus program up and running. Please participate. We're having fun with those, so please participate.